Hello everyone, it's Karen from Abstract Impressions. I am about to do the second pour on the Sonica Lake project. Uh, using the same colors again, turquoise um, by Pearl X. What the heck was that? I don't know what that was. Anyways. Turquoise by Pearl X. Um, this one is Duo Blue Green by Pearl X. Okay, I've already mixed my resin. And then the last one is Metallic Blue by Finnabon. Finna bear, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Finna bear. Finna bear. Finna bear. Anyways, which is a much lighter, it's a lot lighter than the other ones. Oof. A little unicorn fart there. I haven't even poured the resin yet. I already mixed my resin. So I'm just gonna pour the resin in there. doing the same as I did last night. I mixed up a little over eight ounces of resin. Actually, I think it was closer to 10. And I'm using KS resin. For this pour. Because that's what I had. <laughs> Okay, and then what's left of that resin is going to go to make, finish up a coaster that I'm working on, a beach coaster. Alrighty. And you can see this one really, and it's actually pretty transparent. I don't know if you can see that, but I can read the Tyvek underneath from the Tyvek tape in places. So, and now that I lifted my board, I just want to make sure it's still level. And it's still in level. Very good. Okay, just wanted to make sure. So one thing it's really important that this stay in level. Now, what I was saying yesterday, and I'm going to finish this thought, for anyone out there who has any extra diamond dust, um, if you could do me a huge favor and package up just a, a small amount and send it to me, <laughs> problem is, is that Stone Coat wants $15 for the little bag, okay, which I don't have a problem giving them, but they also have, darn it, they also have a standard $15 shipping fee, excuse me, hello, Uh, is that that guy over on Perry Street? Alright. Hang on guys, I'm on the phone real quick. <laughs> I'm actually on the clock for work, so. Anyway. Yeah. Um... Yeah, if you want to get it, I'm right in the middle of this. I mean, it's, I couldn't leave for another 10 minutes or so if I... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, if you can grab them, that'd be great. No, that's fine. Okay. All right, bye. See, luckily I got another guy working with me today. So, for those of you who don't know, I drive a cab, <laughs> and um, getting my art business up and running, I, I've been driving a cab now nine years, 
and I'm ready for something different. I mean, I'll continue to do it for as long as I need to, but I'm ready for a change in my life, and I'm hoping that getting my art business off the ground is going to be the answer. Okay, we are ready to go. Start with the darkest first like I did yesterday, which is the blue-green duo by Pearl X. I don't know if you can see that. It's really, it's really pretty. It's a pretty color. And it's not, um, it's not real opaque. So, so it, that works, you know. Okay, and then we're going to pour the turquoise. Anyways, what I was saying about the diamond dust, Stone Code has, wants $15 for the bag of diamond dust, which I have no problem with, but they also want $15 to ship it, because that's just standard on all their orders, and I just can't, I can't afford $30 for a bag of diamond dust. So, I don't need that much. I need enough to finish this project here. I want to mix some with the final layers of blue for the lake. So, if any of you guys have some diamond dust laying around, I know Erica's got a big bag of it. <laughs> I mean, a big bag of it. Uh, but I know she's busy, so I don't know if I could get a hold of her or not. Maybe, hopefully, maybe she'll uh, see the video. This video, Erica <laughs> from Murder's Till Death. Um. Anyways, if anyone out there can help me out, please instant message me or leave a comment on the bottom of this video, and I will get with you right away. Um, I am in the greater Chicago area, basically. I'm, I'm about 80 miles southwest of Chicago. So. Okay, so there's that. This is really looking pretty. And then we're going to go with this uh, Thinna Bear. This metallic blue which is a lighter color than the others that I've been using. For all you guys who have been with me on this journey through um, the original Seneca Lake project and now are watching me do these layer pours on this, this piece is going to be beautiful once I get it done. It just feels like I'm never going to get it done. I'm going to keep dripping on the wood here. I don't want to do that. I didn't even put gloves on today, so I'm trying not to get my hands in the epoxy much. Okay. 
I think that's pretty good. Uh, we're just going to kind of mix them a little bit. Just like we did last night. Mix and meld. I was actually considering putting like a small amount of maybe a little bit of purple or something um, in with this. I don't know. I still might on that upper layer, so I might throw a little bit of a different color in there. Just something to kind of make it pop, you know. I mean, these are gorgeous, gorgeous colors, don't get me wrong. But, even if it's a little bit of white in here to make, like, waves. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, trying to consider. I asked him if he wanted me to put lights on the backside, the little LED iridescent lights. So that you know he could light it light up the lake and he was not interested at that in that at all so this is what we got all right so that's it that's the second pour we'll give it about five hours so you guys have a good day bye